San Antonio ISD. Thank you to all of you who have joined us this afternoon. We appreciate each of you who have come out to support our proud graduates from the class of 2024 at Travis Early College High School. It's graduation day, a once in a lifetime experience for our seniors. Take a look around the arena. We have a good crowd in here. Let's give it up for our seniors. Let them hear you. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. The class of 2024 at Travis Early College High School is ready. Our seniors have dreamed of graduation, and it's here. We have 89 seniors ready to get their high school diplomas. It's a big day. Our Travis graduates are about to enter the seating area. As they enter, let's all welcome them in and show how proud we are of them. Ladies and gentlemen, San Antonio ISD proudly presents the class of 2024 from Travis Early College High School. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Twyla Guajardo. I'm the principal of Travis Early College High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation of the class of 2024 of Travis Early College High School. This afternoon, we gather to honor 89 graduates. 
We are here to celebrate their learning and accomplishments and highlight the transformational role that education, coupled with strong school, family, and industry partnerships, can have in the life of a young person. Our graduates have worked extremely hard and have met the requirements set forth by the Texas Education Agency. This is one of the most important accomplishments up to this date in these young adults' lives. The faculty, staff, and administration of Travis Early College High School thank you for helping us make this year's graduation ceremony a memorable celebration with your presence, whether in person or virtually. Thank you for being with us to celebrate. Will everyone please rise and remove your hats for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. The colors will be presented by Edison High School, JROTC, and our national anthem is being sung by graduate Azan Pena. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the The pledge, the pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag will be presented by John DeHoyos. Will the audience please place your hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Pledge to the Texas Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Thank you, you may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce to you John DeHoyos, our 2024 class president, who will share this afternoon's reflection of gratitude. Thank you. Good afternoon, SEISD faculty and administration, Alamo College's administration, families, honored guests, and most of all, the class of 2024. As the president of the Travis class of 2024, it is an honor to speak to you today. On behalf of the graduating class, 
I want to express our gratitude to many people here today. We thank our teachers, counseling team, cafeteria staff, custodial team, school administration, and class sponsors, Ms. Jacobs, Ms. Hanley, Ms. Maldonado, Ms. Stockel, Ms. Barrier, and previous class sponsor, Ms. Annette, for all that you have done. Without you, we wouldn't be the bright scholars we are today. Our appreciation goes to our phenomenal Travis parents and supporting family members. You are the rock upon which our academic journey was founded. Your sacrifices, love, and encouragement have been a reminder that what we accomplish is not just for ourselves, but for the whole family. The students' commitment and enthusiasm for engaging with class fundraising initiatives are deeply appreciated. Like no class before us, we raise the bar with community engagement. Our eagerness and hard work have truly created a legacy that will last generations to come in the Travis community. Because of the engagement of this class in these past two years, we have raised over $10,000. <laughs> Historically, it takes a class four years to raise $10,000. Not only did we exceed fiduciary expectations, but we also surpassed our goals in record time. This class's spirit is the cornerstone of our achievements. Because of our spirit, our class is also the first to win three spirit sticks consistently. <laughs> Which, by the way, I did not bribe Miss Marquez or Miss Diaz for. And I bet if COVID never happened, we would have four. <laughs> this not only emphasizes that we are an incredibly spirited class, but it highlights our dedication to teamwork and the genuine passion we have for our community. As your president, I am confident that we will remain steadfast in our commitment to our education and career paths and achieve long-lasting change within our communities as we expand our reach beyond the confines of Travis. Our class will continue to push boundaries, accomplish what may seem impossible, and make significant impacts throughout our lifetimes. It has been an absolute privilege to have served as your class president. I wish each of you all the success in the world as you make your dreams a reality and embark on the next chapter of your journey. Thank you, God bless, and congratulations. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Board of Education, Superintendent Dr. Jaime Aquino, administration, staff, and faculty of Travis Early College High School, we welcome you to our 2024 commencement ceremonies. It is my privilege at this time to introduce our platform guests. Dr. Jaime Aquino, SAISD, Superintendent of Schools. Arthur Valdez, Board Secretary, District 4. Sarah Sorensen, Board Trustee, District 1. Stephanie Torres, Board Trustee, District 5. Leticia Ozuna, Board Trustee, District 3. Ed Garza, Board Trustee, District 7. Dr. Sean Bird, Deputy Superintendent, School Leadership and Partnership Services. Patty Salzman, Deputy Superintendent, Office of Academics and Family and Community Engagement. Dr. Johnny Vahalik, Assistant Superintendent, College, Career and Military Readiness. Dr. Melissa Alcala, Assistant Superintendent for School Leadership. On stage representing the Travis Early College High School Class of 2024 are senior class leaders, Van Hernandez, valedictorian. <laughs> Joshua Medell, salutatorian. John DeHoyos, class president and the class representative. And I would also like to acknowledge uh, Sarah Mann from the Alamo Colleges District. And Dr. Lillian Porter, High School Programs Director at San Antonio College. 
It is now my pleasure to introduce our two most academically distinguished students of the Travis Early College High School class of 2024. Joshua Medell, please step forward. As salutatorian of the Travis Early College High School class of 2024, Joshua Medell is a first-generation scholar. He is a College Board National Hispanic Recognition Awardee and earned the Questbridge College Prep Scholar Award. Josh currently serves as the Vice President of the National Honor Society and Treasurer of the National Hispanic Honor Society and has held the position of Secretary of the Speech and Debate Club for the last two years. At San Antonio College, he is the Vice President of the SAC Cyber Patriot Club, a new club that in its short two-year experience has competed at state round in the Platinum Division of the National Cyber Patriot Competition. While at SAC, Josh has made President's List for San Antonio College each semester by maintaining a perfect 4.0 GPA and will receive, actually did, and he did receive his Associate of Arts with honors in liberal arts this May. Josh will attend Texas Tech University in the fall of 2024 to study computer science with a specialty in video game development in his goal of becoming a successful game developer and entrepreneur. I present to you our salutatorian, Joshua Medell. Good afternoon, and welcome SAISD board members, Alamo College district members, Travis Early College High School faculty and staff, and parents, family, and friends. As part of my message to you all today, I would first like to thank my family, as they have constantly contributed to my success and have always been there to aid me. Thank you, mom and dad, for all of the sacrifices that you made in order to support me and for giving me the opportunity to be a first-generation college student. Thank you to my two sisters, Jewel and Jacqueline, for always being a dependable source of help, as well as a consistent source of comedy. I also want to give my thanks to the many people that have helped me succeed during high school, as well as those who have helped us all. Thank you to all of the Travis faculty and staff who have constantly supported us throughout our time together, as well as all of the Travis teachers that we have had throughout the years. The efforts that you put into your lesson plans and grading is what allowed us students to be here today. In particular, I want to send a special thanks to Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Trasas, Mr. Sandoval, Ms. Santos, Ms. Hanley, and Ms. Maldonado, as they have all pushed me to excel throughout high school, and I don't think I would be where I am without their valuable advice and support. The path towards graduation wasn't an easy journey, as being a high school and a college student at the same time presents a unique set of challenges that few students ever have to deal with. Being a graduate of Travis Early College requires determination and grit. It requires a mindset of never giving up and to always get back up when you get knocked down. For the past four years, we have constantly been challenged with a multitude of obstacles, and we all had to adapt and overcome them. The most apparent among them through our first years of high school was the COVID pandemic, which resulted in all of us having to spend our first year together through computer screens and Zoom calls. This was definitely an interesting experience, from spending the first period half asleep to getting told to turn your camera on. Nevertheless, the end of remote learning wasn't the end to all of our hardships, as many more would persist throughout our time together. Star tests, SATs, ACTs, the FAFSA fiasco, seemingly endless essays, convoluted algebraic calculations, hundreds of time-consuming college assignments and projects, and worst of all, annotations. Some of us may even have to endure the Dallas Cowboys losing in the playoffs for these past few years. 
Regardless of all of the challenges that we have faced, there have also been a numerous amount of enjoyable experiences that we are able to reminisce on. Who can forget all of the memorable fall fests and pep rallies? Not to mention we were the class to hoist the spirit stick three years in a row. Despite all of the bra moments, we are all here today, which is a testament to how far we've come, how hard we've worked, and how much we've grown. The fact that we are all standing here today shows that you were able to persevere and overcome all of the challenges over the past four years of our lives. If there is one thing that I want you all to remember as we celebrate here today and as we move forward in our lives, it's to never lose your enduring drive and your persistent passion. The road ahead won't be easy, and you can be assured that there, that there will be constant roadblocks and barriers. If you ever feel like giving up on your collegiate and career journeys, I want each of you to remember that you have already accomplished so much. You have all worked so hard and had to make many sacrifices in order to succeed at Travis. Don't let your accomplishments and efforts be in vain. Know that even though we may be many miles apart, we are all still going through this adventure together. At the end of this day, you all shall stand due to the hard work and dedication you have shown throughout your time at Travis. I am proud to say that we conquered high school and are moving on into a new era of our lives. Thank you all for coming out and supporting us here today, and congratulations, graduates. Will Joshua Medell's family please stand to be recognized? Thank you and congratulations. Van Hernandez, please step forward. As the valedictorian of the Travis Early College High School class of 2024, Van Hernandez is a proud first-generation college scholar. He is a San Antonio area foundation legacy scholar and college board national Hispanic scholar. At Travis, he founded and is president of the Travis Manga Animation and Gaming Society, is a member of the Speech and Debate Club, and the National Hispanic Honor Society, and he serves as an avid tutor. He is an advocate for the LGBTQ plus community shown through his work with Fiesta Youth and the San Antonio Pride Center. Consistently recognized on the president's list at San Antonio College, he, will, he earned his Associate of Arts with Honors in Liberal Arts this past May. While at SAC, he has earned the Credential Thinking Badge and the Creative Solutions Badge and was a member of the GSA Club. This fall, he will be attending Rice University as a QuestBridge Scholar and fully funded. <laughs> fully funded with a scholarship esti over, estimated at over $270,000. He is looking forward to double majoring in business and psychology while minoring in dance to pursue his dream of owning a successful therapeutic practice. I present our valedictorian, Van Hernandez. Okay. Good afternoon, SAISD board members, Alamo College District members, Travis Early College High School faculty, staff, parents, family, and friends. My Pookie Nations! I am so glad to see you all here today. Audience members, actions speak louder than words, and showing up today to support the class of 2024 demonstrates how much you care. We appreciate that, thank you. Like many, like many of you, my journey and my success has felt like a battle I have had to fight on my own. However, 
I gratefully acknowledge that there have been many people who have inspired, motivated, and empowered me to prepare, achieve, and persist. Thank you to my family, my friends, my teachers, especially Mrs. Hallie and Ms. Fuentes. Without your dedication and support, I wouldn't be where I am today. As many of you know, my name is Van Hernandez. I am a transgender male, and I stand here overflowing with pride as I represent my community and my class. Pride, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Pride is the feeling of satisfaction and happiness from one's achievements. I feel that today as I look at my peers' success and their perseverance to make it here. It was hard, wasn't it? Your treacherous journey here? The journey of facing challenge after challenge while learning to accept yourself in all of your perfection and imperfection. Despite these setbacks and challenges, you pushed forward. You stayed up late on that Tuesday night, finishing your assignment that was due at 11.59 p.m. <laughs> you decided consulting your teacher for help wasn't as hard as you thought. You finally did the dishes your parents told you to do a day ago. Whether it was the mundane chores at home or a final that your grade depended on, you made it happen. I want to remind you all that these struggles are what it means to be human. Humans were made imperfect. We are each imperfect. Unless someone hears AI, but I hope not. But remember, you are who you are and you are perfect in your imperfection. Every challenge, <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> every challenge, every success after failure, must be a reminder that it is you who can do it, whatever it is. You can make that difference. I want you to remember this message today and continue to discover and embrace the person you have been, you are, and who you will become. I know it can be hard to see yourself in a positive light, but maybe starting today, remember that you did your best and to be proud of that and to be proud of yourself. I know for a fact that today, for the first time ever, I can say I'm proud to be alive, and I want you to be too. <laughs> Class of 2024, you have worked tenaciously to get to where you are today. I know the future seems daunting, but as I look at you all, I am full of pride to see our future politicians, our teachers, lawyers, cosmetologists, therapists, health advisors, my athletes, and artists. I know you will continue to do great things. Tamusa, UTSA, U of Chicago, UT Austin, Trinity, A&M, Rice, and every single college out there is privileged to welcome each of you to their student body. I am proud of every member of our class for their hard work. Charge forward in pursuing a life of fulfillment and without regret. This is the legacy of us as the best class in Travis history. Thank you so much. Will Van Hernandez's family please stand and be recognized? Thank you and congratulations. At this time, we would like to recognize the outstanding achievements of the class of 2024. I call your attention to the list of honor graduates in the program. These students are in the top 10 academically ranked in their class and are graduating with the highest honors. Please hold your applause until the entire group is standing. Van Hernandez, Joshua Medell, Aliyah Garcia, 
Natalie DeLeon, Ileana Beck, Lorenzo Rodriguez, Diego Veloz, Ian Tenorio, John De Hoyos, Priscilla Fourier. Thank you, you may be seated. Next, we would like to recognize a group of scholars who represent those who have met the very highest standard in their academic achievement. Please, again, hold your applause until the entire group is standing. Scholars who are graduating with the summa cum laude designation, please stand. Thank you. Keep I do want y'all to keep standing. In addition to recognizing our students graduating with the highest academic honors, we will also recognize our scholars graduating with the distinguished academic honors of magna cum laude and cum laude. At this time, will the graduates that are graduating magna cum laude please stand and remain standing? And those graduating cum laude please stand. Thank you, you may be seated. We would also like the members of the National Honor Society please stand and be recognized. National Honor Society. Thank you, you may be seated. We also want to recognize the members of the National Honor, the National Hispanic Honor Society to please stand and be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. And lastly, the members of the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, can you please stand? Thank you, you may be seated. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation awards scholarship nationwide to nurture and empower students on their path to a college degree. I am super proud to announce that seven Travis students were selected as Dell Scholars this year. This scholarship is worth $20,000 and it includes a Dell laptop and mentorship throughout their college career. Will all seven graduates that earned the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation scholarship please stand to be recognized? Thank you, you may be seated. Travis Early College High School is proud, is proud to partner with the San Antonio Educational Partnership Scholarship Program. This program is sponsored by a variety of businesses and organizations in San Antonio. Each year they give thousands of dollars in scholarships to our students to use at San Antonio area institutions of higher education. Although not finalized this year, we can announce that 85 students, 85 students in the class of 2024 have fulfilled the requirements of the SAEP scholarship and are pending final confirmation. Congratulations. And now it's time for me to talk to you guys for just a minute. So good afternoon to you, graduates, the class of 2024. I am honored to stand before you this afternoon as we celebrate you. Graduates, it is a privilege to recognize and celebrate all of you today. And it has been an honor to work with you these past two years at Travis, and I am very thankful every day that I was blessed with the opportunity to be your principal. While I only shared in half of your experience at Travis, I know how hard each of you work during your time at Travis to navigate the incredible demands of both high school and, co and college simultaneously. And with the support of your family and friends, you did it. Big accomplishments are never the result of a singular effort. We know that behind every graduate sitting here today are many, many family members and loved ones who provided encouragement, guidance, and sometimes boundaries 
to support the academic and personal growth that each young person here has experienced. On behalf of the Travis faculty and staff, thank you families for all you did, seen and unseen, to support your scholar. We appreciate first your selection of Travis to educate your child, and then we appreciate your support of the high expectations and the demands that we placed on your scholar during the fir their four years with us. I would be remiss if I did not also recognize the stellar adults in attendance today that contributed daily to the development and accomplishments of our graduates. At this time, would the faculty and staff of Travis please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Graduates, today marks the end of your remarkable collective effort as the class of 2024 to reach the common goal of not only graduating high school with up to 60 hours of college credit, but also validating your exceptionalism and multiple offers of acceptance to major universities and countless scholarship awards. Collectively, the class of 2024 has produced $11 million in academic scholarships with many more on the way. Now comes my favorite part. To name a few of the scholarships the class of 2024 has produced. Two Questbridge Match Scholars, one with the University of Chicago and one with Rice University. One Gates Scholarship, four Martin Luther King Jr. Scholars, six San Antonio Area Foundation Legacy Scholars, six SAISD Foundation Scholars, one Grehe Scholarship, three Bomberger Scholars, one San Antonio Police Officers Association Patricia Calderon Scholarship, two Cesar E. Chavez Legacy and Educational Foundation Scholarship, one the Optimist Club Ed and Frida Jackson Scholarship, and seven Dell Scholars. The class of 2024 has a re record number of College Board nationally recognized scholars with 10 Hispanic National Scholars and one National Indigenous Scholar. Most Travis graduates have been awarded at least one merit-based scholarship from a college or university, and many are eligible to receive the tuition assistance programs at various post-secondary institutions like UTSA Bold Promise and the Texas State Bobcat Promise. And early college high school students this year, all Travis scholars are eligible for the Tamusa Jaguar Promise. You will proudly represent Travis and San Antonio ISD at numerous colleges and universities across this great state of Texas and around the country. For instance, the University of Chicago, Roosevelt University, Rice University, UT Austin, Trinity University, Texas State, Texas A&M College Station, UTSA, the University of the Incarnate Word, St. Mary's University, Texas A&M San Antonio, or pursue a specialized program with the Alamo Colleges District. It is clear that each of you has unique gifts to offer the world, and never doubt that the world needs your specific talents. Regardless of the path forward for each of you, you will always be linked by the same Travis Early College High School experience, and I hope you will forever remain a panther in your heart. The one piece of advice I would like to offer is this. As you live the life you create, at the very moment that you encounter difficulty, uncertainty, hardship, loss, desperation, or just plain terrible luck, I hope these words by Helen Keller will reinforce and encourage you. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. You are an amazing group of young adults, and I'm so very proud of you, and I will miss Travis Early College High School. Thank you.
At this time, Trustee Sorensen, board member of the San Antonio Independent School District Board of Education, please come forward to accept the Travis Early College High School class of 2024. Good afternoon and congratulations, Travis Early College High School class of 2024. I am so grateful to be able to celebrate this momentous occasion with you. Graduation ceremonies are the highlight of my time as a board member. You have worked so hard to get here to this point, and it is a pleasure to share in joy and celebration with your loved ones and friends. Getting to this day wasn't easy. You started high school in the midst of a global pandemic. Taking online classes and missing the traditional experiences of freshman year. When you finally made it back to campus, things still weren't like they used to be, but you adjusted and got to work. I want to acknowledge just how big of an accomplishment this is. Far too often in public education, we talk about students from a deficit perspective. Countless articles have been written, and many public education leaders have fretted about quote unquote learning loss and all the ways this will have long-term impacts on your lives. These are flawed measures created by people who have, no, who have no understanding of what you've gone through. And they do not capture your accomplishments and your potential. As your classmates so eloquently laid out here this, this afternoon, you all are exceptional. This is one of, the, one of the first of many achievements you will reach in your lives. You have already proven that you can do hard things. Remember that as you face future challenges. You already have the ability to persevere and succeed. In short, you've got this class of 2024. Are y'all ready? Would the class of 2024 please stand? Ms. Sorensen, I do hereby certify that all of the graduates standing before you this afternoon have met the state requirements of the completion of high school and graduation from Travis Early College High School. By the authority vested in me, I hereby accept the recommendation of the faculty and administration of Travis Early College High School and declare the assembled candidates qualified for the award about to be presented. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to extend my congratulations to each member of the Travis Early College High School Class of 2024 and wish you continued success. Please be seated. Seniors, this is the moment your families and you have been waiting for. Yeah. Families, please join me in making graduation a memorable occasion by recognizing our outstanding graduates with your applause as they cross the stage. Graduates, faculty, and staff members will assist you as you come up to the stage one row at a time. Will the graduates of 2024 please come forward? Hernandez will be attending Rice University, recipient of Questbridge National College Match Scholarship. Joshua James Medell will be attending Texas Tech University, recipient of the Baumberger Endowment Scholarship.
Aaliyah Joyce Marie Garcia will be attending the University of Chicago, recipient of Westbridge National M College Match Scholarship. Natalie Nicole De Leon will be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Eliana Marie Beck will be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Lorenzo Francisco Rodriguez will be attending Texas A&M University, San Antonio, recipient of the Cesar E. Chavez Legacy and Educational Foundation Scholarship. Diego Jacob Veloz will be attending Trinity University, recipient of the Trinity Murchison Scholarship. Ian Christopher Tenorio will be attending the Texas A&M University at San Antonio, recipient of Texas A&M University at San Antonio Regents Scholarship. John Henry De Hoyos, Jr. will be attending Trinity University, recipient of the San Antonio Area Foundation Legacy Scholarship. Priscilla Nicole Foray will be attending Our Lady of the Lake University, recipient of the Our Lady of the Lake Texas Fast Scholarship. Aleenan Aguirre will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Kalia Sky Alexander will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Annabelle Monique Almaguer will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Maximus Eduardo Altamirano will be attending Universal Technical Institute. Natalie Marie Alvarado will be attending Palo Alto College. Halen Elise Arias will be attending St. Mary's University. Mariah Adamari Ayala will be attending St. Mary's University. Noah Joaquin Barrientos will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Jamel Anthony Bonaparte will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Avery Jade Boston will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Emmanuel Briseño Hernandez will be attending Texas State University. Brisa Liliana Bustos Valdez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Fernando Isaac Cantu will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Salvador Cantu will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Haley Brianne Cardenas will be attending Texas State University.
Leslie Grace Castaneda will be attending San Antonio College. Yulisa Castro will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Michael Vincent Cisneros Tavares will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Abby Lynn Cortez will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Sylvia Ann Davila will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Allison Natalia Diaz will be attending St. Mary's University. Andres Escamilla will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Genesis Maria Espinosa will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Camilo Juan Espinosa will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Fernanda Anaí Flores will be attending University of Houston. Jaden Ivan Flores will be attending University of the Incarnate Word. Julian Tomas Gaona will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Henry Garcia will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Jeremy Isaiah Garcia will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Messina Kian Garza will be attending San Antonio College. Jackie Guadalupe Gonzalez Garcia will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Jorge Ramiro Gonzalez will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Pedro Daniel Gonzalez will be attending South Texas Electrical at JATC. Gerardo Azael Guardado will be attending St. Philip's College. Leilani Guevara will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Cameron Lynn Hernandez will be attending St. Mary's University. Giovanni Hernandez will be attending St. Philip's University, excuse me, St. Philip's College. Samian Josiah Hudy will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Tulula Jewel Hudson will be attending the University of Texas at Austin. Miguel Ipiña will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Emily Rose Loera will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Angelina Anaí Lopez will be attending Northwest Vista College. Andres Guillermo Martinez will be attending Texas State University.
Lydia Nicole Martinez will be attending the University of Mary Harden Baylor. Madison Celine Martinez will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Zabiel Monreal will be attending St. Mary's University. Miranda Antonia Munoz will be attending Palo Alto College. Destiny Jaslyn Olivo will be attending St. Mary's University. Dakota Prairie Rose Osif will be attending Texas A&M University at College Station, recipient of the Gates Scholarship. Azan Peña will be attending Texas State University. Ariana Ivalice Perez will be attending Roosevelt University. Chloe Estela Perez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Gabriel E. Perez will be entering the workforce. Karen Alejandra Piña Gutierrez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Hallie Piña will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Neftali Piña will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Valerie Emily Puerta will be attending St. Mary's University. Liliana Sarai Quiroga will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Alessandro Ramos will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Katie Monique Reyna will be attending San Antonio College. Amy Riojas will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Jordan Javier Rios will be attending Texas Tech University. Ashley Abigail Rodriguez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Ozzy Chase Rodriguez will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Elizabeth Romo will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Leslie Renee Salas will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Romario Alejandro Salazar will be attending Texas Lutheran University. Kimberly Dayanara Salinas will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Gladys Santiago Rojas will be attending the University of Houston, Victoria. Victoria Clarice Solis will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Steph Mary Jane Solis will be attending St. Mary's University. 
Melissa Nicole Van Zandt will be attending the University of Houston. Kaylee Abigail Vasquez will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Evie Kayla Vasquez will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio. Logan Leandro Velasco will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Luke Santiago Velasco will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Rebecca Carolina Verdusco will be attending Texas A&M University at San Antonio. Angela Lynn Wheeler will be attending the University of the Incarnate Word. Can we have one more round of applause for this amazing class from Travis? John De Hoyos, class president, will now lead the graduates in the turning of the tassels. Will the class of 2024 please stand? until our graduates have recessed from the building. We hope you have a wonderful afternoon and you drive safe. Graduates, please follow your class leaders and I as we recess.
Congratulations to our graduates, family, and friends. San Antonio ISD is proud of the class of 2024. We hope you enjoyed our graduation ceremony. Thank you for being here for this memorable occasion. Please remember, you can relive the graduation ceremony by visiting our district website. You can click www.saisd.net backslash graduation 2024. There you can view an archive live stream of the graduation. And we are on social media. Be sure to follow us on Facebook at San Antonio ISD, on YouTube at SAISD Communications, and on X, formerly known as Twitter, at SAISD. Don't forget, for those of you interested in getting photos of your special graduate from the graduation ceremony, contact Corona Productions. You can find them at www dot coronaproductions dot net or by phone at two ten six eight seven nine eight two eight. Everyone will have the opportunity to greet their graduates outside in the parking lot area as you exit. Let's help our custodial staff. Please remember to pick up your trash and take it with you. We have trash cans located at all exits where you can place your trash. Again, thank you for your support. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Good luck, class of 2024, and go SAISD.